Welcome back to The Late Show. Folks, I spent most of the last year and a half doing the show with no audience or guests besides, of course, my wife, Evie. But there was one notable exception. Back in May, actor-slash-director-slash-Emily Blunt's husband, John Krasinski, was nice enough to join me in the storage closet. And if you've ever wondered what it's like to be trapped in a small space with John Krasinski, then I recommend watching A Quiet Place. <laughs> But if you want that same experience, only with some talking and less alien dismemberment, then check out what happened when I had my first in-person guest in over a year. It's a very special day here in the Ed Sullivan converted storage closet, because Evie is here. And also, for the first time in 14 months, I will have an actual in-person guest tonight, Mr. John Krasinski, who is here to talk about his new movie, A Quiet Place 2. Well, he's come to the right spot because for the last year there has been no quieter place on earth than this room. I got to tell you, there's nothing like telling a joke and then hearing your own heartbeat. Anyway, thanks for being, thanks for being here, John. Oh, it's so good to be here. Thank you for being in the second chair. When when I said they said, do you want to have John Krasinski be your first uh, live in-person guest? I said, sure, that would be great. And, and Evie said, what are you talking that's about? That's right. Back off, buddy. Yeah, no, I, I knew. I could feel the competition. <laughs> there so, was a, there's a wall of tension. Exactly. We were going to sit you in that chair, and she said, uh, and I mean, she's obviously a lady. She said, <laughs> that <laughs> Wait, that's my what? chair. <laughs> that's my chair. Krasinski can just get in the rumble seat. I haven't seen a switchblade since 1976, and she pulled one out. Yeah. Well, it was real. We play, we she play said, rough. I'll cut you. <laughs> mm -hmm. As a former waiter myself, I can say, that is great news for the lunch shift. They no longer have to bring the check and say, I'm just going to lay this down here, take your time, but we are switching shifts, so Connor is going to be taking <laughs> care of you, and if you don't pay now, I don't get the tip, and Connor didn't really do any work for you, did he? <laughs> I mean, I listed every salad dressing and every draft beer twice, even though they're all written down on the menu. Anyway, I'm going to go over to the prep station and roll silverware and eat free rolls until my soul falls out of my ass. <laughs> and, Five years. Five. Did you wait tables? Did Absolutely. you wait? You did. <clears throat> Even after the pilot of the office, I went back and waited tables. You oh, did? Wow. Yeah, that's what? how little common. I was gonna say. <laughs> what kind of feel good about what it? What kind yeah. of place? Uh, I was at the time I was at the Odeon downtown. What is that? Oh, is that good? Used, it's a Odeon historic in restaurant that yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I went there a lot in the I don't know. I mean, I'm not I'm a man of the people. Really? I don't really know your fancy. <laughs> it's not fancy. It's, it's, no, not, it's a nice not, historic. It, this is culture over here. We'll just talk about culture. Yeah. We're all into New York City. We'll edit that out. <laughs> Would you like something to drink? Uh, yeah, that would be great. What do you feel like? Um, what are you having? Bourbon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, John, the last time we were together was <laughs> March 9th, 2020. March I'll 9th, take, 2020. I'll take some ice. <laughs> oh! There you go. Oh, yeah. They call that the uh, COVID Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There you go. Perfect. That'll kill it. Mm -hmm. That'll kill it. That'll... Ow! <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Guys, let's go to commercial. Now, the last time we were together was March 9th of, of 2020, which was uh, three days before we had to bug out because everything shut down. That's right. And you were here for this little project called... A Quiet Place Part 2. <laughs> 1.0. This is 2.0. <laughs> and uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to take a look at the entrance uh, when you were here over a yep. year ago. We, you can get a sense that we were beginning to understand that something bad was about to be coming down the pipe. We weren't quite sure. <laughs> that was it. Just Great. before I went out, somebody was like, you're not going to touch him, are you? And then they were like, and John Krasinski. I was like, am I not supposed to? <laughs> like, as I was going on, <laughs> as I was going on stage. What's the scariest animal? Crocodile. Anything that has the term death roll in your... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not only the bite's not bad enough, then no. you got to roll me what into the river. What would you do? What would you The crocodile grabs you, is dragging you toward the water. What's your play? I play what would you do all the time. And I genuinely think I would just yell no. No! <laughs> no! No! I would. Flat or sparkling? Flat. Okay. Most use. Are we going to edit that out? Because that made me feel bad. What? That hurt my feelings. That went out. How strong are you these days, by the way? I mean, I don't. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you going to arm wrestle? No, this is not smart, hon. 
Put it on my side. We are. No, Put no, it on no. my side right now. Oh, it could God. be an injury, Steve. That's not going to be an injury. Come on. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. But right, right. we have to, like, do the, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Are we, is, here we go. I don't know. If, uh, we, oh, sure, sure. Sure, you want to do this thing? What is this? The, you, you really don't arm wrestle, do you? They do this. No. And then it's, you have to put the back of my hand here, or I put the back of your hand here. Do you know that much? Sure. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, I want you to know. You're competitive. I, this is not personal. Okay. Okay, you go. This is, this is ready? No, okay, Abby, you say one, two, three, go. Do we do a staring contest while we're... Sure. Oh, God. There's no way we have time for this, right? Oh my God! Yes, we do. This is this is this is Internet Extra. This is this is. Corden will get it. We're just gonna push in a little we're, bit we're on gonna... this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. I'm gonna be. You're younger. You're strong, but I'm old and wily. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know we were really doing it. <laughs> we're gonna You're, not even You're not trying. You're not trying. Share your arm. That was. That you didn't even try. You no, didn't even try. So you did. Fun. I did try. Absolutely. How come you look like that and I look like this? <laughs> well, that does it for my look back on our last season. This is so much fun. Folks, what a blast. So nice to show that to everybody. It's amazing. Incredible. Works well. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we could share some of that with a live audience. And I can't wait to see clips of this episode and next year's look back at the best of the best of the Late Show show. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. Well, my guests will be the authors of Peril, Bob Woodward, and Robert Costa. James Corden is next, everybody. Good night.